So I want to let you know about some important changes that have happened in LinkedIn in the last few weeks and guide you through what you need to do so you can avoid having your account restricted by LinkedIn. So let's dive into the changes. So the first change is that LinkedIn only wants you now to send a maximum of 50 connection requests each day. Up until recently, you've been able to send 200 connection requests a day, and that's been fine. But now what LinkedIn are saying is they want that just to be 50 a day. What I recommend you do is that you don't send exactly the same number every day, that you vary it. Some days you send 48, some days you do 52. Um, so you keep it a different number each day. That's going to help with not getting restricted by LinkedIn. The next um, recommendation LinkedIn has made is that they want you to customize your messages to new LinkedIn connections. Now, what this means is that they want to see you develop a more direct relationship with the person you're reaching out to. And if you're wondering, how do I do this? How do I customize my message when there's only 200 to 300 characters in that first message that you're sending with a connection request? Well, you can do something like this. You can say, dear, and then enter their name. I'm interested in the fact that you, and then enter something personal about the person, you know, have a look at their profile and see where did they study? What are they working in? What company are they working for? What industry sector are they in? What specialist areas do they have? And just enter something that interests you. Perhaps maybe there's some common ground here also. Maybe you're both alumni of a particular university. Maybe you've also um, both worked in a similar industry or similar companies. Um, and so just grab something that relates to that person that's personal to them and add that into this message. And then say, I look forward to connecting with you on LinkedIn and give your name. Now, an alternative version, if you're not ready to go to this full customization of your messages, is to have maybe three to five different templates of messages, very slightly different messages that you can send where you are sharing a bit about, you're saying, hi, you're sharing an introduction to yourself, but you're doing that in a slightly different way each time with different words. Um, and then you say, I look forward to connecting with you on LinkedIn. So that's another way that you can do it if you don't wanna go fully customized, but you want to make sure that you don't get into trouble with the new um, restrictions that LinkedIn are bringing in. And so what you would do with that is you would just make sure that you for maybe send the first message just for a few days or a week, and then you swap and you send the next message, the next variation for the next week. So there's some variation in the messages that you're sending to, to new connections. And the third change is, um, which is not really a change, but this third piece of advice that you need to be aware of is to make sure that you withdraw your pending connection requests regularly. Now, this is, um, this is something you want to be doing anyway, but what I've noticed is that with some people, if they've le left their pending connection requests to just stack up, and there's a lot of people that haven't accepted their connection requests that are still pending, this can cause LinkedIn to restrict your account as well. And to, this restriction could be anywhere from one hour to four days. And it's basically restricting you from sending any more connection requests. So you do want to make sure that you withdraw pending connection requests that are over, say, a month in, um, in time that they've been outstanding. Um, now, LinkedIn gives the recommendation that you only have 50 uh, pending connection requests, but I'm sure you're aware, even if you're sending just their new maximum of 50 connection requests a day, you could easily have more than 50 um, pending connection requests. And during this time I found with my clients that actually some people are taking a lot longer to accept connection requests, even in one case, several months. So you don't wanna withdraw your pending connection requests too soon because you won't be able to reconnect with that person for at least another three weeks. So there's a balance here. So in my perspective, I would say, try and get your pending connection requests down to maybe 300, 400, or definitely under a thousand is where you want them to be. And so if you're unsure how you actually do this, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Okay. So we're gonna go here into LinkedIn 
Um, and to withdraw your pending connection request, you just go to My Network. You then see invitations here. You go to click on all the invitations. So click on see all three. It's opened up another box. You've got all your received invitations. But if you click here, you see there's sent invitations. So click there. And then you've got all of your outstanding pending connection requests here. And you can just go and simply withdraw them just by clicking the withdraw button. OK, and then they will be withdrawn. So those are the changes that have happened in LinkedIn. Um, and I've given you the three things that you need to do in order to make sure that you don't fall foul of these new restrictions on LinkedIn. If you're concerned about any of these changes, um, if you would like some help with LinkedIn, then just send me a message, um, email me, shelly at clientlinkedin.com, or send me a message on LinkedIn. And I, you know, I'm happy to just give you some support and talk you through the changes and how you need to apply them for you.